Uh, Shalom Akim, who praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and rule well, and our uh, blessings to the hope for the elect, teaching this word with sincerity and the truth. Um, yeah, I just wanted to just speak about the times that we're in right now, man, because um, I'm basically mainly just enduring, uh, enduring it to the end of this thing, because here it is, you gotta understand that the one who the world calls Jesus Christ, which really his name is Yahweh Shai, and he's the son of the Heavenly Father, um, he's on his way, man, and he's about to crack them clouds, all right? But the thing is, you gotta have faith in order to believe that the only way that we're gonna get out of captivity and out of the situation that we're in today is to believe in spiritual intervention. It is to, it's to believe in a higher power and that a higher power can deliver us out of this situation which is a gnomon omen because that's what being Yahweh Shai's name he is he to save or he is sal salvation okay he is coming back to redeem us he's coming back to buy us back okay we've been sold unto our enemies for bond men and bond women and no man have bought us unto this day all right it tells you in Baruch um the third chapter I believe that we are yet this day in our captivity Okay, so we are still prisoners of war to this day, and it's heavy because we're speaking um, out on the, uh, doing the street speakings last week, and we was we were speaking about that. We're still we're still prisoners of war. Just because you don't see the yokes of iron around our necks, um, what did what did Morpheus say in, in Matrix, man? You are a slave, Neo. You are uh, you know they've created a prison for your mind, and this is basically it because here it is, man. Israel. It tells you in Isaiah, the first chapter, that our people don't even know who they are, okay? And that the whole head is sick, man, all right? The ox know if his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know, my people do not consider. And here it is, we're out there, uh, you know, telling you who you are, according to the scriptures, according to what we've been taught from our apostles and our elders. And, um, you know, you've still got our people that are, are traitors, man, and they will, they will literally seek to come against us but there's a great multitude that's going to wake up to this truth all right and is waking up to this truth man and 144,000 men which are the future governing body over the nation of israel all right now the scripture tells you that he that if, uh, uh, endureth to the end the same shall be saved now this is the nature of the of what i was gonna you know it's a little quick impromptu man but you gotta understand that you gotta have faith that Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. He's on his way with them chariots, man. All right. And what is what's the definition of faith? Hebrews 11 and 1 tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, if you believe in these prophecies, man, if you believe in the prophecies of the slave ships, you know, the, the curses that we're under and the prophecies that are happening right now, there are still some prophecies that are still yet to happen. So if the prophecies are in the Bible that have happened, happened already and are happening at this present moment uproars of the people wars and rumors of wars matthew 24 etc then you must believe that there are prophecies that are still yet to be fulfilled that are still on the horizon okay and that's uh the, the spirit of yahweh shai is is the spirit of prophecy man so we we believe that all right the substance of things hoped or the evidence of things not seen but don't get it twisted ephesians 2 and 8 tells you that faith is a gift all right and that no man can receive anything unless it be given him from the heavenly father so you gotta understand that it's not by our own doing that we came into this thing it tells you in in john that the lord has chosen us we have not chosen him okay all right so so man's goings are of the lord and i'm, I'm throwing out scriptures it's just a spirit you know the scripture says that man's goings are of the lord how then can a man understand his own way the lord directed our steps man he you know, he called us into this thing, man. All right, it remains to be seen whether we are chosen or not, but until then, we're going to damn wait, make sure that we fight tooth and nail to hold on to this faith so that we do receive salvation because we, we understand that we are nothing but, but slaves in this place, man. All right, but hey, man, we, we you know, <laughs> we, got a, we got a great kingdom ahead of us, man, to come. All right, and, and, and if we enjoy to the end, the Lord, the Lord said, that we're going to be joint heirs with him man in the kingdom it's going to be a beautiful time but you know the scriptures say that much is given and much is required so we've got a lot of shit to go through before we get 
to the to the goal, basically. All right. All right, and, and the goal is basically salvation. As the scripture says, seek ye your own salvation, man. All right, so, hey, brothers, man, you got to endure until the end. There are certain distractions in this world, and I always say, man, you got to look at everything that, that's around you, man. They are potential vessels of Satan that, that can take you out of this truth. If you ain't careful, if you ain't praying enough, and if you ain't putting on the whole armor, man, you got to understand that Satan, 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 Satan's uh, roaming around the earth like a roaring lion seeking those who he may devour, man. And he will always go for, for your weak spots, man. The things that you, you hold dear to you in this in this life, all right? Or you, or you may have held dear to you if you're just coming in in this life, like your, your, your family, your, your friends, all right? Your so-called friends in the world, all right? Even your own woman, man, your own children, all right? Your siblings, all of these things, man, they can be used as potential agents like in the matrix agents man just met them like demons basically they're in the world so they got demons on them all right so you gotta understand that satan can use them as his vessels and tools to take you out of this truth man all right that's why the scripture says in timothy no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that, the, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier loosely paraphrasing all right so we are supposed to be soldiers in this thing man all right so that's it man lord willing you are king we're edified man hey you know we got the faith man all right and if you find like you're dwindling man you, you better pray for more faith because we're in the time of you know getting weak man all right yahweh shai is on his way man and he said luke 19 and, and 27 i believe those that would not have me reign over them bring them hither and slay them before me so all those guys that are scoffing are coming up against this truth and it ain't getting down with the true new world order, all right, which is the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, hey man, then, you know, they're about to be slain, man, all right, but we gotta wait on the Lord, all right, we gotta wait on the Lord, because we ain't carnal, man, we ain't about to, we ain't the Black Panthers, man, all right, <laughs> that's not what we're about to do, man, we're spiritual men, we're waiting for our king to give the order, he said, hold fast, thou, that which thou hast learned, hold fast, and that was an order, that's, a, that's an order that a type of general would give you, man. Hold, hold the line. You know, the governor, the true governor, Yahweh Shai, he's saying, hold fast. All right, and when he gives that green light, attack, and we turn into them hunters, man, that's when it's on, man. All right, that's when, hey, man, it's the time for being purely spiritual. I mean, because it is going to be spiritual as well, man, because it's going to be a righteous thing to exact judgment on those that come up against this truth. All right. So hey man, that's when the time to hunt and get to getting. Hey man, <laughs> that's it man. So all praises to you, Alba Shimmy, I was shy. You know we got a lot of things to look forward to, man. And with that, I'ma close out and say shalom, man. Stay strong, Arkim. Stay strong. Shalom.